Now this video here, I want to talk about something that kind of pisses me off a bit because it makes the real people that are actually being honest about about it. It makes them seem like they're not not real and genuine. Now this here has to do with uh, this video has to do with people proclaiming that they're psychic, people saying that they're telekinesis, and things of that all all things of that nature. Now I know one person in particular. I know there are many, but I know one person in particular. Uh, they were ghost hunting for a long time. Well, not a long time. Say so I think since 2011. And all of a sudden, now within the last year, all of a sudden she's psychic. Now she never had psychic abilities before. This person hasn't. And all of a sudden now she is. And of course, obviously she charges for it. You know. But in all honesty, in my honest opinion, if a person is 100% genuine psychic, I don't see like, and if you know honestly deep down that they're being honest about it. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with them, if they're being honest, and if they're, you know, if they charge you or whatever. But the thing is, most, a lot of people that do charge you, not all of them, but a lot of them that do charge you, they charge way too much money, you know, to do a reading for a person, way too much, you know. Like, and I don't agree with that at all. They're just basically scamming. They're just bas they basically just scam people. That's pretty much what they do. They're just conners, or they think they're conners. To and to me, one hundred that is one hundred percent wrong. Because if you if you're honest, if you are honest about what you're doing, and you honestly have a gift in that way, and if you do charge people, I don't think it should be that much. I think it should be enough so that the average person, if they want to get, you know, their fortune told or whatever, have whatever. Whether it's a palm reading, a card reading, a uh, crystal ball, whatever, I think I think you know they should they shouldn't charge them that much. It should be fairly cheap because to me I think it's just a rip off if they do. And and in my honest opinion, ninety percent of the people that do do that are rip offs. They're, they think they're con artists and stuff like that. And to me, it. There's too many innocent people getting ripped off by people doing that the wrong way. Because I would never, I would charge people, but I wouldn't charge them very much. You know, it, it would depend on how far they had to they travel to come see me. And how far they come travel for a reading and stuff like that. Because I know that deep down I know that I can do that. I have the gift to do that. But and I've and so far as I know, I always have. But do I do I go advertising it? No. Do I you know charge people for readings? No, I don't. Because I don't think that's what that gift was meant for. And I think they basically are written people. A majority of people that do that are written people off. Now I had that I, the gift that I got. I had ever since as long as I, like I just said, as long as I can remember, and. I wouldn't I wouldn't dare charge anybody for it. It's not that I don't need the money because obviously, you know, I need just money just as bad as the next funnel. But I wouldn't do that. I don't think it's right doing it. I think you're basically in to me you're just basically ripping people off. And you're lose and if you if you did have the gift, one of them gifts, and if you start doing that, I believe that you're ripping the people off that you're charging. And I honestly think that eventually you'll lose that gift that you had. I really do. Because it wasn't meant for that. Not in my honest opinion, it wasn't. That would be like, uh, you know, there's one person, like I said, there's one person in particular. I know for sure, she, well, I know a nice few actually that are scams and connerists. But I'll just use this one for an example. I know for a fact that she's a scam and a connerist. I would put my life on it that she is. You know, I'm not judging her, I'm not, you know, or whatever. But what she's doing is wrong, 100% wrong, and she's just doing it to make a few make make a few extra bucks. And sure, that's fine and dandy if you're being honest about it. But if you're just bullshitting someone and pumping someone full of crap, 
who's who's putting their faith in you and and who's believing everything you're you're telling them you know that's just leading them way down the wrong path that would be like that would be like me telling someone that uh let me see first thing you ask oh is your father you had someone passed in your life your your dad say your dad passed you had your dad pass or your uncle say your uncle one of your uncles passed and they say well your uncle passed and you say well yeah how did you know that well okay 99% of the population has uncles that passed that died if they didn't there's something around the family tree but I just want to you know slightly strike that and touch upon it and say that I totally disagree with people that read people's fortunes and tell people things when they're when they have no idea what they're talking about they're just scamming the people that they're reading because in the town I live in now there's one lady that does it and she charges ninety dollars for 30 minutes come on that's almost a bill for 30 minutes of her telling you bullshit you know and there's people there's tons of people that pay her sure it's great that she gets money doing it and all that but the thing about it is if she ever had that gift I honestly believe that by using the gift like that if she ever had that gift I honestly believe that she'll lose it if she already hasn't got it lost you know because she's doing it all for the wrong reasons she's just doing it for the money she's not doing it to honestly help people anymore which to me is what the gift was meant for anyway I just want to touch up on that and talk soon